Hey guys, this is Jeff from Retro Rare and Rad, and today I'm here with a little project video. Um, I picked up this Playmobil Victorian Mansion playset last summer, and it's been sitting in my basement, taking up space, and uh, I really have not had the motivation or the time to sit down and really dig into this thing and figure out what I have. You know, I've done a little research on these. Um, you know, I can sell it as a complete set and, and you know, make a really good uh, amount of money on it. Or I can part it out, sell the individual pieces, and, you know, I'll do pretty well there as well. But until I dig into it figure out what I have, I really don't know, you know, which approach I'm going to take. So I am going to attempt to put this baby together. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to try to do a little time-lapse uh, photography thing here so you can see it going together. But we'll see how that goes. I was able to print off the instructions, so I have everything I need here. It tells me how to do it. So assuming I can uh, make sense of this, figure it out, assuming I have, you know, most of the pieces, if not all of them, you know, it may, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to get started on this. I'll show you the progress and uh, touch base at the end, let you know my thoughts on this whole project. <laughs> Okay guys, here it is. I got this house together. And I have to say, I'm very happy with the completeness of it. You know, I kept expecting to run across missing parts here and there, but really I'm just missing a few of the details. Uh, otherwise, structurally, you know, all the walls are there, all the major parts are there. So let me walk you through what is missing. Um, the first thing is these flower boxes should have flowers in them. Um, but they're all missing. I'm not sure why, but there were no flowers in this. So I would need to, if I was going to make this 100% complete, I would need to buy all of the flowers. And frankly, it's pretty expensive to do that, so I'm, I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, the other detailed piece here is there's a doorknob missing here. And, you know, that would need to be replaced. You can see on the lower door that the doorknob is in place. And it's pretty neat how they work. But, the, you know, all the doors and windows on this house open and close. So um, the other missing detail piece on the outside is actually a little more substantial and that is the uh, stairwell leading into this little porch area is missing. And you know, I looked that up on eBay and that's a fairly difficult piece to get. It'd probably be 20 bucks to, to add that to the house. So from the outside you know that's really well, actually, there's there's one more thing um, at the top of the house here, on these railings. There's two missing uh, corner posts on the railing, one here and another one over here. Those are actually fairly easy to find, so I could uh, I could pick those up on eBay, probably for you know four dollars each or so. So on the outside of the house, that's pretty much the only missing pieces, and on the inside of the house. It's also you know, pretty complete as well. Um, I'll just take you through this to the lower floor. You can see it's got you know drapes and 
things on the wall, clocks, pictures, things like that. Uh, it's got a neat little stairwell, stairway, all of the pieces are there for that. Uh, second floor, same thing, very detailed. Obviously, I didn't, you know, get any furniture or anything with this set. Um, and then uh, on the upper story, there is one missing piece, and that is a, there's a little banister here, um, like on the lower floor, you can see this piece, this banister piece here. It's missing on the upper floor, so that, you know, to be 100% complete, I would need to add that. I didn't see any of those on Craigslist, so that might be the most difficult piece to find. So, that's it. Now, my plan here, you know, there's, um been thinking a lot about how best to sell this and I think I've decided I'm going to sell it complete you know I could sell it in pieces but since it is very close to, to complete I think it'll you know do a little better if I sell it complete now it's interesting they the parts on these things do get, take do get quite a bit of money you know like these little roofs just on these little uh, dormers here these are you know between 10 and, and 15 dollars a piece and there's, you know, quite a few of those on here. There's, uh, what, five of those on here. Uh, and then these, you know, other roof pieces are, are also, uh, you know, go for quite a bit. So I could, you know, part it out and sell each individual piece. But, you know, I think I'm just going to sell it complete. Now, the other thing I think I'm going to do is try it on Craigslist. Uh, you know, it will be difficult to ship. So I'm hopeful I can get a buyer on Craigslist. And won't have to pay the uh, eBay fees and shipping and all of that. But if that's not successful, I'll probably just have to resort to eBay. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm going to ask uh, 175 for it. And uh, I'm not going to say how much I have in it, but it's not, uh, it's not that much. Uh, so I'll, I'll make a pretty good profit on this thing. Uh, so one thing, you know, I did this too as kind of an experiment with Playmobil. Uh, I don't deal with Playmobil much at this point. I... But after putting this thing together and seeing the quality of it and seeing the attention to detail and also seeing some of the prices that uh, are being paid for these items, I'm going to add Playmobil to my uh, regular list of things I look for. In fact, I even uh, put a Craigslist out today looking for Playmobil items and I've had a few calls already. So I, I am going to you know, kind of add this to my regular list and it's something you might think about too. Uh, you know, it's a little like some of the other things I deal with. Um, Thomas trains, Legos, you know, they're out there. Uh, some people, you know, want to get a, a pretty penny for everything, but you can find them at reasonable prices and, and make a little profit. So, you know, I like them because I like the quality. I think they'll last a long time. I think there's, you know, people generally take care of a toy like this. And so I, I do think I can, I can make, you know, a little, I can add it to my business and it's in line with everything else I do. So very impressed with the Playmobil uh, Victorian Mansion. I hope you enjoyed my video. And until next time, this is Jeff from Retro Rare and Rad. Puppenhaus von Playmobil. Sieh nur, wie die Küche klingt. Im Wohnzimmer das Kätzchen trinkt. Zum Schlafen geht es dann hinauf. Wer lässt in dem Bad den Deckel auf? Willst du noch mein Zimmer sehen? Ist das neue Puppenhaus nicht wunderschön? Jetzt im Spielwarenhaus.